Hello and welcome to my video. Huh? Uh, what we're gonna do today in this video, we're gonna do a test huh? with eggs. We're gonna try to incubate eggs from the supermarket. So I know what your reaction will be. Oh, it's totally impossible uh, because eggs from the supermarket come from um, some kind of place where they don't have uh, space to move, etc. And, and it's not possible. Well, uh, let's think again. So let me show you different type of eggs. Uh, I've got those ones, with, those ones are cheap. And if you look at every egg, there's always a, a number. So there's the, the date where it's been uh, laid. And there's a long number uh, which tell you which one can be, um, uh, which one can be incubate, incubated. Huh? So this one start with number three. Number three, we can forget about those eggs. It's impossible. Why? Number three are uh, eggs that come from a chicken that, uh, that is in a cage, uh, that don't see the light of day, etc. It's only here to lay, 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 and that's it. If your eggs start uh, by number two, those ones are not in cages, but um, they will be um, in a place on the ground, uh, but again, they won't be able to, to see the light of day. Uh, but at least they will be on the ground. Yeah? Problem is that they won't be able to run either because there's so many of them that they're all, uh, <laughs> all tied up. Uh, but anyway, so that's, those ones, number two, you can forget about it as well. If your egg starts with number one, oh, that's much better. Uh, it's a chicken that can actually go in and out uh, and it will lay. Uh, but those eggs uh, is it, just the, the chicken you you won't get um, uh, you won't get the male and female so obviously you uh, you won't be able to do anything with those eggs either uh, but what I've got here uh, it says ecological uh, eggs so those ones uh, so be careful when you buy those because sometimes it says uh, uh, farm eggs, uh, ecological, etc. But you need to look at the number. Huh? Uh, that's the number. In fact, that tell you everything. Don't uh, don't be fooled by a pretty label. Uh, that's not how it works. Okay, so I pick any one. And here, what we've got. So here, same thing. Huh? The date where it's uh, it's been laid, huh? or, or, or the consumption date. And this one start with zero. Zero. That's excellent. Zero, it's, this one is an egg uh, that's actually from a chicken that's uh, free range. It's uh, in a field, um, you will have the male, female, etc. So he will be in his natural element, let's, uh, let's put it that way. Uh, so it is possible that those eggs um, uh, can brought up something, okay? So we gonna do, we're gonna put them in an incubator. I'm gonna try, okay, as a, as a test. Um, but before we do that, we're just gonna write the date on it uh, because it's gonna be incubating for about three weeks. Uh, so we're gonna write the date on it, and uh, let's see what happened uh, after the the after the three weeks. Uh, let's see if we got a, a little chick or not. Okay. So let's do it right away. Perfect. I've now uh, marked my egg uh, with the date and uh, place them inside. Uh, try, if you can, to place the, the, the pointy part downwards, if you can. Uh, I know, depending on the, uh, on the machine, it's not always possible. Uh, uh, this one, as you can see, you can regulate it uh, to, to have the eggs more or less uh, uh, tight. Here, uh, because I don't have enough space and obviously the egg will fall, I've used uh, the end part of the toilet paper and to block it inside. Same thing here, okay? So once all this is done, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place it in the incubator. Incubator that I've got here. Oh, oh let's place it that way. Okay, my, the model I've got is Brinsey, uh, octagon, porque, uh, why octagon, porque, uh, I mix my Spanish, wow. Um, uh, because there's uh, eight side to it. Huh? So this one, this model, if you buy it like that, it will be the manual one. Uh, so you will have from time to time to move it like this, then move it like that, etc, etc. Okay? The model I've got is fully automatic. I will show you in a minute. 
so it'll save you the, uh, the time and effort to uh, move it yourself. Okay, so what we do now, we open it and before to place the eggs inside you will have to place a little bit of water yeah, as you can see there's some uh, there's a tray here where you can fill up the water i won't fill it up now because if i put it, it you see it's some little holes on the side the water will fall all over the place which i don't want okay so i'll place it later so here you fill this with about three quarter uh, it's sufficient and from time to time you you go and check it and uh, you make sure that it's not dry and if you have to refill you refill it okay so now that we've done everything we place the eggs inside we close it okay now you've got a vent uh, that's here more or less okay uh, this vent I place it more or less in the middle okay so after after the time uh, when, when you get used to the machine you can put it less or more uh, you do it as you wish uh, but on the middle it works fine for me okay now what I've got left to do is place the motor so that's the uh, automated part and place it on top of it okay brilliant okay so now I just plug the two cables and what the machine will do it will just tilt the, the incubator you know from side to side uh, and all I will have to do is check uh, the water uh, if, uh, if it's not missing any okay so what we're gonna do now uh, we're gonna see each other in about three weeks time and see if it did work or not <laughs> but um, I think it's quite fun to try this kind of stuff and uh, let's see what happens Okay, here we are, not only three weeks later, but a month later. Huh? I've waited a bit more and I will show you the results. Here we go. Ta -da -da! <laughs> As you can see, it's 100% failure. Okay, it hasn't worked at all. Okay, so um, I've tried it for the experience, uh, for just to see what would happen. Uh, I've seen on the internet that some people have managed to uh, make it work uh, and I thought why not, okay? So, what could be a reason why it hasn't worked? Um, it could be several reasons or the egg was not labeled correctly uh, so this usually it's quite, uh, you know, it's, it's, if, if the person get caught it's, it's, it's usually pricey. Huh? Um, it could be that the um, the, the 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 chicken wasn't you know the the male wasn't um, uh, the cockerel wasn't too interested in the chicken maybe he was gay I don't know <laughs> it's a possibility um, but I think more uh, from the time those eggs have been laid from the time they've been picked up uh, wrapped up uh, transport going into uh, the shelves etc maybe it, the time was too long okay uh, so highly likely that's the cause why it hasn't worked now that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it huh? uh, i think it's quite fun to try that and see if that works um is just to you know it's it's kind of a nice surprise if something comes out so um i've placed 12 it hasn't worked um so big failure but it doesn't matter now if you want to um do this uh, I would uh, suggest that you, uh, if you got your cockerel and your chickens, I suggest that you take your eggs. You will you will know nearly for sure that they they will be fertile. Uh, and if you don't have uh, chickens at home, uh, what you can do you can uh, approach a farm. Uh, there's plenty. There are plenty that actually s uh, sell eggs that are fertile. So if you buy 12, it doesn't mean that the 12 will uh, come to life. But you will have um, a better success rate than this okay <laughs> okay so that was that was good fun um, we'll see each other uh, on another video uh, my videos are all about countryside its problems how to solve it etc animals okay so ciao see you in the next one